Hey guys, you're watching the Romanian Academy. I am Stefan and welcome to Pronominal Phrases or just another tips and tricks video about colloquial Romanian. We're talking about season 13 here and you can find the playlist for the season on the channel page among all the others such as the 11 seasons on grammar and season 12 culture. Today we will keep it straight to the point. We will explain briefly what pronominal phrases are exactly. We will address the formal ones, the normal ones, and then I will talk about something quite strange I found on the internet as part of the research for this video. Something that should stop you making any unwanted mistakes. We will start with a quick recap of what a phrase is. And the main idea is this. You can call what you know as an opinion an opinion. Or you can call it a point of view. Throw back to the noun phrases video, link up here. So you can call the opinion a one word item or a more complex structure. This structure means opinion, but translated literally, it means something different. If you want to know more about phrases in general, we have a whole video where I talk about phrases or locution up here. In this video specifically though, we will introduce the pronominal or pronoun phrases, which are just fancier ways to describe a pronoun. Now, a very important note, the pronouns that you might see next might be quite different than what you identify as pronouns. Well, you must know that in Romanian, eu, tu, um, te are not only kinds of pronouns. But worry not, the fact that these phrases replace pronouns is irrelevant. All you need to know is the word it replaces. And you will see that on the screen. Because, as always, we cover the Romanian phrase, the exact translation to English, and its real meaning in English, together with the use case, so you know when to use them. In general, the pronominal phrases have two categories in Romanian. If you like the amount of detail that we will cover the pronominal phrases in, this is exactly how we talk in our crash courses, available on Patreon on the fourth week of the month. There, you can also get access to Q&A sessions, where you can ask me anything that you want to know about Romanian. And even speaking and listening activities available for our patrons that support my effort and this channel. Now on the screen. A big thank you to you all. The first category of Romanian pronoun phrases are what I call the respectful ones, or easier, the formal or polite ones. Some that you might never use yourself because you should meet a king, a president or the pope. However, there are still some commonly used in the church nowadays, showing the respect to the priest. Now, to make this easier for everyone, you must know that the pronouns or words those phrases replace are tu or dumnavastra and yel or ya which in practice, taking the king or queen example, they would be added to Maria or Highness. So you will end up with Maria ta, Maria vostra and Maria sa. See that the words are both capitalized. So you will have the base form, Maria ta, the more formal one, Maria vostra, and the one that you use when they are not there, Maria sa. And a use case could be, if you really meet a king or a queen, Bună ziua, Maria voastră, ce faceți? Do you see how improbable it is to say it? However, there is a high chance you will see it written or hear it in the news. Also, notice that the form of the pronoun also decides the verb conjugation. It is faceți because of voastră. Another example is, say you talk to someone at a classy soiree and you ask, Unde este Maria sa? Trebuia sa ajungă. Now I'm not going to spend all day talking about them all, because they are quite a bunch, so I'm going to put them on the screen right now. Bear in mind, once again, that each of them can be used with ta, voastră and sa. I need to give a special mention to the ones that you will indeed hear a bit more often because of the cultural context of the church. 
and how much more frequent it may be to meet a priest rather than the Pope and talk to them in Romanian. So depending on how high they are in the church structure, we might address the clerics from Sfinția to Prasfinția and finally the Nalt Prasfinția. Again, I just mentioned those three because they are definitely more common to hear them or see them in the day-to-day -day life in Romania. As for the so-called normal pronominal phrases, so the ones that you may use on a daily basis, there are very few, but as we usually say, important phrases come in small packages. No one? Really? No, no one says that? Really? Well, they should for the pronominal phrases because they are frequently used. Today I'm going to mention seven, out of which six are a variation of the same thing, but the Chine variant is applied to people and the Che to things. All of them mean roughly the same thing, but with a different nuance. And that same thing is someone for the Chine variant and something for the one with Che. In addition, they can mean just some instead of someone or something. And if all that gets too confusing, I'll show you examples in a sec. Again, all they mean is basically the same, but with a different nuance or emotion attached. The first one begins with nuștiu. So, nuștiu ce or nuștiu cine. This can mean whatever. So, someone or something that is whatever. One that either I don't know enough or I don't care enough. Here depends on the tonality. If we say the following example, avem un concurs de alergat mâine. Prietenul meu are nu știu ce mare tehnică cum să câștige. That means I don't know much. But if I say avem un concurs de alergat mâine. Prietenul meu are nu știu ce mare tehnică despre cum să câștige. Then I definitely couldn't care less. Alternatively, about a person, am văzut pe nu știu cine la magazin. Dar nu cred că era ea. Then we move to cine știe, so who knows. Here the meaning is on the lines of importance. Something or someone that could possibly be important, but I don't quite know enough about. It is commonly used with a negative. Ieri mi-am luat un aspirator, dar nu e cine știe ce. Here it means that the Hoover is not the best it could be. Alternatively, For people, ea se comportă de parcă e cine știe cine. Meaning that she behaves like a very important person, even though she is not. Then, the you wonder one. Te miri ce and te miri cine. Again, to do with importance, as if there was a surprise. Usually not very important. Ei nu au stat să învețe prea mult, deci te mir ce rezultate pot să aibă. Meaning that the results couldn't possibly be good. And the same for people. Ai venit la mine să-ți o dau gratis de te mir cine ești tu. Meaning that you are not worth the effort. And finally, care mai de care. This one is a bit different. And it translates to one or some that is or are more than other or others. In the sense of from a group of people or things, there is definitely one or some that are more than the rest. Am înțeles că ai primit bomboane, care mai de care mai scumpe. Meaning they were definitely expensive. If you got all the way here in this video, I think you should consider subscribing to the Romanian Academy down below. It would help me with the algorithm. But if you also like the video, you give the chance to other Romanian enthusiasts just like you to join this awesome community and learn more things about the Romanian language or Romania in general. Should we get back to the video? Let's do it. Last thing I want to cover is something that I discovered in the making of this video. Something that, quite frankly, surprised me. So if you see this on any forum or website, do not take it for granted. Pronominal phrases are not reflexive pronouns. Again, pronominal phrases are not reflexive pronouns. So, 
if you see a website like this one, where it says that se simte in the sentence yel se simte obosit dupo zi lunga is a pronominal phrase. Please don't believe it. All the m, te, se, ne, v are accusative reflexive pronouns and are very different than the pronominal phrases. And we will cover them in season seven pronouns. Now the conversation will move to Discord, where tomorrow there will be a question related to this video. But that doesn't mean you cannot ask me any other question that crosses your mind, as well as any feedback or constructive criticism, all welcome in the comment section. Pronominal phrases. There are not many, but they do show a different side of the Romanians. You might have noticed they are quite salty. So test them with family and friends before you go out in the wild and telling a stranger that they might not be very important. On that note, we will move to more colloquial Romanian this season. There are plenty more phrases to discuss, but if you have other topics in mind, let me know. Until then, la revedere.